We've got another challenging concept in water treatment called the CT concept, which baffles some operators. Um, but really the CT is kind of neat because it's got its own definition. Well, C stands for concentration, T stands for time. There's a value called the CT value, and you calculate it by multiplying the concentration of your disinfectant, chlorine disinfectant residual, or other disinfectant, and uh, multiply it by the amount of minutes that you're gonna have it in the clear well getting disinfected, obviously more concentration or more time means more disinfection. So this concept, we're just going to look at the CT tables a little bit and look at some of the trends that come out of that and show you that you can use these, these tables as a tool to kind of understanding some of the relationships between, you know, effective disinfection, what have you. So we're going to look at table one. Uh, which is the CT values for inactivation of Giardia by free chlorine at 0.5 degrees Celsius or lower. So it's cold water treatment. You will notice that, you know, as you go through the tables, tables one to seven, I believe, are all Giardia. There's tables that are ozone or chlorine dioxide. So depending on what you're using for your disinfection, you'll use a related table. But one no trend that you'll notice here, so we're talking about the same temperature, that's controlled. Um, if let's look at one concentration that's controlled, let's look at two milligrams per liter concentration. And this first one is at pH of less than or equal to six, and at the far end of the spectrum we get less than or equal to nine. So if we asked ourselves, is disinfection by chlorine more effective at a higher pH or a lower pH? We can find that trend by looking at the table. So let's have a look. At pH less than 6, um, CT value for, let's just do log 2 <coughs> inactivation, excuse me, 110 at 2 milligrams per liter concentration. Well, let's look at log 2 removal, 2 concentration at pH 9. So here's our 2 pH removal and 2 concentration of 2, we've got 326 here. So 326 compared to 110 this number is three times higher. So pH dis uh, disinfection at a lower pH is much better. So you want your water to be more acidic um, for disinfection by chlorine. And of course you can control your pH by using you know, different additives to your water. Another comparison you can do is the, the relationship with temperature. Is disinfection better at a colder temperature or a warmer temperature? Because your treatment water coming in can always be controlled. So let's see what that trend is here. So this is table one, where we were before. Same thing, at 0.5 degrees, so really cold water. And we had looked at the concentration of two, two log removal. That gets us to 333 for CT value. We can compare that over here, pH 9, uh, log 2, uh, the concentration of 2 coming across here, and it's 59, a much lower value. And you notice here the difference between table 1 and table 6 is this one's at 25 degrees, so much more warmer water, and you can see much lower CT value. So higher temperature, more effective disinfection if it's warmer. And that makes sense because you know, bacteria, chemicals, everything's moving faster in higher temperatures, so that, uh, that inactivation act is happening faster. So the last um, relationship we'll look at, even though there's plenty of them <laughs> hidden in the CT tables, is what type of disinfectant you're using. Because we learned that some of them are more effective at inactivating even certain bugs, right, in different ways, right? We know that cryptosporidium, because of that tough cyst, is pretty resistant to chlorine. So we have to use something else to uh, target that, that bug. So this one, we're still looking at Giardia, Lamblia, the, the uh, protozoan. And in table, we are looking at table six, so we are looking at the pH 9, log 2 inactivation. What was our number? 59. Looking at that CT value. But if you look at the next table, or table 8, it's also for inactivation of Giardia, but this is using chlorine dioxide, right? So our two logs down here, this table is a slightly different format. 25 degrees, 7.3 compared to 59. So again, we can see five times 
you know, five times better to be using chlorine dioxide. So is it worth spending the extra money in setting up a chlorine dioxide if you have a problem, especially with GRDO, like breaking beaver dams or what have you? Good.